Hi, I'm Chuck Slaughter. I'm the founder of Living Goods, and you will see we share a lot of DNA with, uh, with Debbie and uh, with Jordan. Look at this picture. What do you see? Do you see an image of need, or do you see an image of opportunity? Millions of people in emerging markets are underemployed. Millions of young people are coming into the job market every day. What we need now, I think more than anything, is a democratization of opportunity. Families like this struggle every day to put food on the table, to save for school fees, and to put aside a little money for those inevitable crises. And not only do they have a challenge in making a livelihood, but in their homes every day, they suffer from challenges like having clean, simple, efficient light that they can use to study and to work. Um, they suffer from choking indoor air pollution, from diseased water, and from a diet low in nutrients that's blocking the potential from their children to grow healthy and strong and thrive in school. But I'm an optimist. What I see in this room and what I've seen in the last 10 years is a wave of creative invention that has led to a whole range of new products and services that improve the lives of the poor, improving their life and saving money. Clean cook stoves, solar lights, simple water filters, and nutrient-rich fortified foods. But these products aren't getting to all the people who need them, are they? And the challenge is that they're choked by these highly fragmented, almost perfectly atomized retail and distribution landscapes, where you have millions of mom and pop shops who lack buying power, who lack branding power, who lack access to finance. Um, but again, uh, I see opportunity. This is one of our living goods agents. Her name is Zamin. And she represents a new wave, a new generation of empowered entrepreneurs who are tapping into four powerful forces. One is microfinance. Another is mobile and mobile money. Then there's the rise of social media. And last but not least, the power of the direct selling business model pioneered by Avon and Tupperware. This is another living goods agent. She is selling the exact products you just saw every day. She's making a powerful living and making a powerful difference in the lives of her customers. What she's doing was inspired by the Avon model, which was started 150 years ago. Today, um, that industry is a $160 billion industry, and it's growing faster than the big, biggest packaged goods companies like Unilever, um, Nestle, and Procter and & Gamble. The direct selling industry is based on the power of human networks. This is the most potent power um, in markets and societies. It, what's, it's what connects us all. Direct selling agents are more profitable than average um, uh, entrepreneurs. They make more money. They are lower risk to lenders and to franchisors. And the direct selling industry, on average, the publicly traded companies are earning over 15% EBITDA. Imagine the potential for these industries to get out of discretionary products and into products the customers really need. Add to the power of direct selling, the, the Uber connectivity, and hyper-efficiency of mobile. Living Goods agents use their mobile phones every day to connect instantly with their customers at a distance, saving time and money. Two years ago, before we implemented mobile, it took us two months to roll out a promotion. Now, we can do it in 20 minutes. In the early 2000s, M-Pesa rolled out in, in Kenya. People were skeptical. Ten years later, a third of the economy runs through the M-Pesa platform. And again, Living Goods agents use this to pay remotely every day, saving them time and trouble that they can now reinvest into selling more, earning more, and making a bigger difference in the lives of their customers. Microfinance. Not everyone knows. This started as a simple NGO experiment, a little fringe idea 30 years ago. 30 years later, a half a billion people, previously unbanked, now have access to capital. Living Goods agents use microfinance every week to help sell products uh, in simple weekly installments. People in these markets are incredibly resourceful entrepreneurs. Put these four forces in their hands and they will create millions of high impact, high profit jobs. This is what excites me. Um, human networks, it's what we live for, our human connections, right? How else do you explain the explosive growth of social media? Imagine what the next generation of entrepreneurs are going to do with Twitter and Facebook, let alone the next billion dollar startup that's sitting on the laptop of some 20 year old in the back of this room right now. I'm tremendously excited. Um, the woman in this picture, Grace, she has a bright future. You can see it on her face. 
And the question I'm asking myself, and I, I'm asking this room, is how can all of us tap into these powerful converging forces um, to drive the next generation of wealth creation and job creation?